This is no ordinary font. This is a font that I made with my handwriting. And I made it in about 10 minutes. And I'm gonna show you how. But why even bother create your own handwriting font? Well, if you're a brand identity designer or anyone who creates presentations of their work, having a font that is your own handwriting, number one, adds a bit more personality to your work. And it's a font that only you have. So step number one, we need to go to FontSelf. This video isn't sponsored by FontSelf. It's actually sponsored by FreshBooks. More on that later. FontSelf is a font making app that you can use within Illustrator. It essentially is just a plugin or an extension. Download it and install. Go up to Window, Extension, and then to FontSelf, and you'll see this box pop up. Now that box is where everything happens, but where do you even start? There's a little hamburger icon at the top right of that box. Click that and go ahead and select font template and you'll get this template box that shows up. Now from here, what you wanna do is print it, but if you don't have a printer, it's okay. You don't even need to use a template, it's just if you want it to be there. But you can print this template off or you can save it as an image and put it on your iPad and use Procreate, Fresco, Affinity to actually just draw in your letters. But this just gives you a rough guide of what letters you wanna be putting in there. Print off this sheet or just get a scrap piece of paper and start scribbling in with your own handwriting, not caring too much about all of the letters that you can think of in the alphabet. It's actually a good idea to have a template even if you don't plan on printing it or anything because it gives you all the characters in order and it makes things a bit faster. Once you've scribbled in all of your letters, it's now time to scan them in. If you have a scanner, brilliant, put it in. You'll get really high quality letters. But if you don't, then don't worry. Just use your iPhone or your phone and take a picture. It doesn't really matter because it's hand drawn. It's supposed to look rustic and not perfect. Okay, the next step is digitizing. What you're gonna do in Illustrator is bring the image in, just simply drag it in from files. Then you want to press this button called Image Trace. Image Trace essentially takes any of the pictures that you have in there and it will trace it up. The most important thing to do when you're image tracing is to select, go into this little hamburger menu again, go down, it's all hidden, this, this is hidden. You need to go and select this bit that says ignore white. If you don't do that, it will add a white shape in the background and you'll just have loads of issue. Now, what you need to do is expand. What expand means is it will apply this image trace and it will turn all of your lettering into vector, which is insane. If you're a freelancer or someone who sells invoices, then FreshBooks is sponsoring this video because FreshBooks makes it quicker and easier than ever for you to send an invoice to a client for any design project or for any purpose for that matter. You can get paid up to 25% faster by using FreshBooks because when a client sees your invoice, you're notified. When they pay, you're notified. And it will keep all of your accounting in one place. So when it comes to that tax return time, you're not scrambling around. You know what you're doing. So to learn more about FreshBooks and to get started for completely free, risk-free, click the link down below in the description. Now your letter forms have been all vectorized. We need to take the uppercase letters and select them all and drag them in. And we'll look at font stuff. It's just making the font for you. We're gonna do the same for the lowercase and then the numbers and then the punctuation and symbols. Once you've dragged all your letters in, there is one final thing you need to do, kerning. Kerning, if you don't know, is the space between individual characters or glyphs. Tracking is the space overall. Now in typography, when we're creating fonts, we have things called side bearings, which are essentially the spaces in between each character. And normally certain letters like the H, I, will all have similar side bearings, like 30. And the O's will normally have something a bit smaller than that. Creating these side bearings, and then not only that, creating individual kerning parameters. Kerning can take a while, but font self allows you to do it fast. You just press a button called smart. And if you're creating a handwritten font, you don't need to worry about whether it is just perfectly kerned because the idea of it is that it's not perfect. Once you've done that and you've pressed that button and it's all kerned, you can go in and actually make some edits. You can see that my Z or Z that we say in the UK, Z, I get told off as saying Z. You can see that the Z isn't actually on the right kind of path and it makes things look crazy. So I just move it down slightly. There you go. 
You can add any glyph that you want in. You can add as many or as little as you want. It's really powerful. You can create different styles. So if you want to create a more bold version or a different kind of style with that same font where you can change the weight, you can do that too. So guys, that is how you create a handwritten font in less than 10 minutes if you move fast enough. Honestly, if you want to take your branding to the next level, personal or even just work, I use this for presentations. I use it on my Instagram reels. I use mine everywhere. If you want to take your branding to that next level of personability, this is for you. And also, it's just cool to have your own handwriting as a font. If you're not convinced, then you can actually go and download my handwriting as a font. It's called Scribble. You can download it for free in the description just to see and test it out and see if this is something for you. If you enjoy this different kind of video, then please subscribe, share the video, comment below what you think. And also, please do let me know if you do create your own. I would love to see it. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.